I'm Mackenzie. And I'm Grace. Welcome back to another great day at St. Church Club Elementary. Please join us for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Citrus Grove Elementary. This is Mrs. Williams with a few words of wisdom. Have any of you ever heard of Mary Kay Ash? She was the founder of a hugely successful company called Mary Kay Cosmetics. Miss Ash was a wealthy and successful woman who contributed to the world in many ways, including giving jobs to thousands of American women and men. Listen to what she has to say to us today. Little successes pave the way to bigger ones. It's true, isn't it? When you do well in your homework or a class assignment, doesn't it pave the way to a higher grade on your next test? Every day there are opportunities to create little successes, whether it's at school, with friends, in sports, or in music or art. Today, look for ways to pave your way to a big success, one little success at a time. With something to think about, this is Mrs. Williams. Make it a great day or not, the choice is yours. Today we're gonna to recognize fourth and fifth graders with positive referrals, so meet me in my office after the news. For Ms. Blumker, congratulations to Hallie Chilson. Hallie always behaves her equal best in class and participates daily, daily and is a joy to have. For Ms. Dietrichs, congratulations to Elise Wilgers. She always gives 100% and follows directions. For Ms. Grace, congratulations to Bridget Rosales. Bridget just joined my class this week and she's already doing her equal best. Keep it up, Bridget. So happy to have you. For Ms. Close, congratulations to Chara Rocco. Chara is a helpful, hardworking young lady and lucky to have her. From Coach O'Neill, congratulations to Amy Wynn from Ms. Fontanez's class. She's very respectful, always well behaved, and puts forth 100% effort. From Ms. Heligus, congratulations to Lewis Villa. Lewis has had such a contagious, positive attitude lately and is excited about learning. From Coach O'Neill, congratulations to Charles Longley from Ms. Block's class. Always well behaved and puts forth 100% effort. From Ms. Riendo, congratulations to Stephanie Piedra Alamo. Stephanie has a positive attitude and always has a smile on her face and loves to help others. Thanks for being a great example. From Coach Webb, congratulations to Lily Sikowski from Mr. Knowles' class. Lily is a super student all the time. Today in class, she did the activity against her friend, and she immediately gave her friend the handshake for good sportsmanship. This makes me smile. Also from Coach Webb, congratulations to Danica Dean and Mr. Knowles. Danica showed great sportsmanship on her own. From Ms. Dietrichs, congratulations to Jackson Stewart. Jackson has, Jackson's reading has fallen off with reading counts and I'm so proud of your hard work. From Ms. Block, congratulations to Maya Kemp. Maya always does her best and has a true growth mindset. She's improved so much in math and is now a division expert. Also from Ms. Block, congratulations to Erica Clark. Erica has worked hard to improve her behavior and work with her friends in our class. Keep up the great work. Congratulations to all of these fourth and fifth graders. And now, back to the anchors. Thank you, Mrs. Williams. And now, over to Miss Young. Good morning, Eagles. I am here with our top third, fourth, and fifth grade reading count students. In third grade, we have Miley Bierstead. Am I saying that right? No, I know. I'm terrible with that name. Tell me how to say it correctly. Bierstead. Bierstead. I was kind of close, right? Okay, and in fourth place, I have Ricky Hendricks. In third place, I have Connor Stoll. In second place, I have Shayla Kopsa. And in first place, I have Noah Eric, who is not here. But Noah actually has 251 points, which is pretty fabulous. But you guys all are doing super, super great. Tell me, Miley, um, what have you been reading this month that is so exciting? Prairie Evers. Prairie Evers. That's a Sun Times state. Um, let's see, Ricky, what have you been reading this month? Magic Treehouse. Magic Treehouse. I love when people read a series. Connor, what have you been reading? True Stories, I Survived. The I Survived. Now, those are um, historical fiction, and that's a series, too. And Shayla, what have you been reading? Prairie Evers. Prairie Evers. That's another Sunshine State. Third grade's been doing such a great job. They read a lot of the historical fictions this month, and I'm really excited that you guys are reading Sunshine States. Let's give these third graders a huge round of applause. Awesome job. And Noah, 
I'm pretty proud of you too with 251 points, but you guys also did a fabulous, fabulous job this month. Congratulations, third graders. Let's head off this way. Great job, guys. Fourth graders, in fifth place, we have Addison Rufko with 174 points. Congratulations, Addison. What have you been reading this month? Circus Mirandas. Circus Mirandas. Um, and you are going to be here on Monday, I believe, because you will have definitely finished all 50, right? Because she's like 60 points away from pushing it, finishing. 60 pages. 60 pages away from finishing pushing a tree. Oh my goodness. Okay, Jalen Faulkner with 178 points in fourth place. What about you, Jalen? What have you been reading? Um, a book called The Luck Uglies. The Luck Uglies is a book I've never even heard of. You recommended it to me because you like Harry Potter. I think I'm going to have to get this this weekend. Kenzie Durstein. Kenzie, you're also going to be here very soon with Fish and Trees. All you have to finish, too. Oh, look at that. That's scary. I had to buy Fish and I bought two copies of Fish and a Tree thinking I was going to have to give them both to you guys. Yeah. Okay. Uh-oh. 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 Uh, I'll give you my fish in a tree. Okay. <laughs> and then Kate McGuigan. Also, oh, wait, you know what? Ben, you are here. Come here, Ben, quick. Ben, I'm sorry. You are here because you're actually in fifth place because you two are tied what? for second. Wait, you two, Kenzie and Kate. Okay, I'm super confused. Kenzie, where? Kate. Kenzie and Kate are tied with 250 points each. That is so confusing to me. Fifth place, Ben. No, fifth place, Ben. Your fourth place, Addison. Your third place, Jalen. You two are tied, at, um, Kenzie and Kate, with 250 points. And Noah is in first place with 312 points. I'm very bad at math. This is why I'm a media specialist, I guess. But I know. Okay, so who did I forget to ask what they like to read? Me. Okay, everybody. Okay, Kate, tell me what you have read that you enjoy. And which one did you enjoy? Okay. <coughs> Circus Miranda. Circus Miranda, such I'm a good book. I'm still reading it. Though. And um, it's really, really good, isn't it? Um, and what about you, Kenzie? Well, I like all the songs I think, but my favorite one is Circus Miranda. Circus Miranda, it's really good, I'm telling you. And if you like Roald Dahl, you would really like it. It's definitely quirky and different. Okay, Ben, what about you? Circus Mirandas. It's super good. Very different. And what about you? Um, no, you read, well, you read um, all 15 as well. And The Twits? Is that what you said? I'm sorry. The Twits. And that's um, a Roald Dahl book. We like Roald Dahl around here and magic and fantasy. So congratulations to all these fabulous, fabulous fourth graders. Great job, guys. Okay. All right. Fifth graders. In fifth place, we have Dustin Nix. Dustin, congratulations. What have you been reading that you enjoy? Um, the Artemis Fowl series. The Artemis Fowl series. You know, that's, I've never read those. You think I'd like them? Yes. I'm sure I would. Um, Samantha Beltran, who's not here. Um, Emma Van Dusen. Emma, what have you been reading that you enjoy? Holes. Holes. You just, the book club book, you just finished yes. it. Okay, Faith, I need you to switch out filming and hand it with. Sure. <laughs> okay. Faith. What have you been reading that you enjoy? Holes and Dork Diaries. Holes and, she's reading those Dork Diaries. I know lots of kids here enjoy those Dork Diaries. I cannot keep them on the shelf. And then in first place, and actually first place in the school is Gabe Isaacson. All right, Gabe, he's read all the Sunshine States too, and also you have as well, and also you have as well. Um, tell me, what have, what have you enjoyed? Holes and Ink Heart. Holes and Ink I love Ink Heart. If you haven't read Ink Heart and you would enjoy a challenge. Don't film the video. I love oh, yeah, Ink Heart. Ink Heart is I know. Yeah. Inkheart is definitely creepy, but good. It's creepy, do you think? Oh, yeah. I'll show you. A little creepy. A little creepy. Okay. Well, and, and, and Holes is our book club book for this month. Um, so if you are in our book club, definitely keep reading Holes. If you haven't latched onto it yet, keep going with it a bit. So congratulations to all of our fabulous fifth grade readers. Let's give a round of applause to all of our great readers here at Citrus Grove. And now, back to the anchors. Thank you, Miss Young. Thank you for watching, Eagles, and have a fantastic Friday. And remember, Eagles do their best and nothing less. Bye. Bye. Great day.